So Neil, you've been using Open Minds Hypermill for quite some time. In fact, we've we've reviewed um, the software back at your your previous facility. Just maybe give us a quick overview of how you get the best out of that software and what it does for your company. Well, it's about first of all getting the post right when you first get the software, which we've got them all licked now. Really, really good support from. Uh, open mind as well to do it. Literally everything we do now is programmed through it. We don't do anything on the control, everything. So what's the process? What do you do? Do you, you, you get a draw in? It goes models. Into... All the mo normally models from customers now. Drawing's a little bit old fashioned really now. So a model comes in from the customers, generate tool pass around the model, get them into the machine. And do you find that the software does lots more than just turn a model into a program? It actually delivers yeah, of a machining solution. Totally, because you've got all different strategies for different uh, machining methods in, in, in a part, depending on what it is. It's a very, very powerful piece of software. And, would and we you, wouldn't run this business like we do without it. Uh, really? And, and maybe could not. you could you illustrate something that, that showcases that? Is there particular parts that you don't think you could machine as fast or you don't think you could turn around as quickly? Well, compared to manual machining, I mean, we couldn't program some of the parts we do. We do such complex five axis parts now, we simply could not program manually has to be done on CAD. And, and we've used other CAD systems before, and um, as far as I'm concerned, Hypermill's been streets ahead of what we've used before. Mark, we visited you a few years ago. You were um, using OpenMind's Hypermill software, which, which you still are, and in fact, you've invested in more modules now, haven't you? We have. Ha can you talk to us about the advancements you've made and, and developments you've made using their software? Yeah, so we recently just added the multiple origins option. Um, we had a couple of jobs that were giving us problems where we had 10 micron uh, concentricities from one side of the part to the other. We were only managing at the time, because it was a big part to achieve around 25 microns. So we added the multiple origins that enabled us just to reprobe the component, uh, to just bring it in line to uh, enable us to achieve that tolerance. So how would you have done it without this new module? And uh, how were you doing it? We were doing it as a, quite a manual operation. So we were having to clock components, uh, adjust contours and things manually just to take out any little error there was through temperature in the machine so it enables us just to do it part of the process with the probing uh, to, to automate the process for us. Okay so, so how many real-time applications are there that would warrant the investment in a module like that. Can you now think of many other applications where you, you can get the benefit of using Yeah so we've started using it on more jobs more than we thought we would um, I think we'll utilise it more than anything on the horizontal now when we're programming on there. We used to set datums manually, now with the multiple origins it enables us to do it on the CAD so it saves us having to input that data ourselves. Open Mind uh, developing their software all the time, how influential now is their product within your manufacturing uh, cell here Mark? It, incredibly, it's used to program every single machine we have in the workshop. Um, we've just started using the mill turn a lot more and we're trying to push that on. So you're using it for your turning machines that have milling capability? We are indeed. It's a package that we've had for a year or two but not really utilised and we're certainly trying to push that a lot more to improve our, our productivity. Because often people don't know that Hypermill can support that. They look at their software and think it's ideal for five axis components but they don't realise that potentially it's, it's, it's very efficient at uh, making savings and gains on simple machines like VMCs yeah. but they've also got their turning modules so for you having used that can you see where that's going to give you significant gains as well on those operations? Yes yeah, certainly for, for a number of years we've been doing a lot of the simple milling by hand on the controls so that obviously gives us an element of downtime it's just enabling us to keep the spindles turning uh, and we're doing the programming offline more like we do on the milling. I think it's a uh the best advertise anyone can get is word of mouth from other users. I think as soon as you go online and you look at the forums and people are asking what's the best CAD to use, 99% of the time it's hypermill that's thrown in the, in, in the mix all the time. And you're looking at expanding on what you do with them, aren't you, to their new yep. virtual machine. That's right. What have you learned so far about what that can do for you here at CNN? Well, the benefit of doing a virtual machine is we're, we're, we're uh, simulating the, the NC code rather than what's inside the CAD. So. Theoretically, if it's set up properly, if the uh, NC code is correct, we can put it into the machine and we are away to go. You know, it will save a lot of um, you know, sitting with a, a feed rate on the, uh, on the controller, making sure the job's right. So I think it's going to take a lot of time for people to gain confidence in the software to do that. But I think once you get to that point, then you're going to save a lot of time um, putting things through virtual machine. But that's our next step. We want to get virtual machine in for all the machines in this factory.